So, we do know that that's one way to get into that area where she's at, but I think that's probably the long way there. Because there was that one way that we came out of earlier. I just... Oh, I don't know if I could get in there. Because I came out of that thing, right? Or maybe I came around here. No, yeah, I definitely came out from around here. Okay, well, it's definitely showing me... Yeah, this is where we came out from. Perfect. Well, I'm not going to need my hammer. So hopefully this gets us to the profit of profitability. Uh, hello? Uh, disciple? Disciple, who are you? A nobody. Do I have enough to upgrade my weapon? Not even close. This next part of uh, modifying my weapon is really going to take a long time, isn't it? Wait, does Vicar... Okay. Well, never mind. So let's see. Profit or profitability, private meditation terminal. Welcome. If you are in search of a seminar, please speak to the Prophet of Profitability directly. The messages on this terminal are private. Should you read them, your humor may be thrown off balance. What? Is your curiosity worth the loss of profits? Uh, private messages from Ruth Bellamy. Prophet, I've talked with my agents and they've told me that uh, what I said about your seminars are not taking them actually lost you about 30% of your revenue for the next three months with future losses projected when I said I wasn't much interested in attending I didn't really realize that it hit you uh, uh, quite as hard as it did guess that's uh, the price of stardom everyone listens uh, a little extra to everything you said I'm hoping if you've got space, then I might be able to attend one of your sessions today as a means of apologizing. I know that no, I know that notice is short, but I'm hoping you can fit me in with uh, without too much uh, inconvenience. Ruth Bellamy, Walker Lee. <clears throat> hey, Prophet, uh, Wit Taker here. Wanted to ask uh, how that mix of herbs I sent you as work has worked out okay whatever I'm not gonna read this I'm <laughs> you guys can read it uh, and this one I was mainly interested in the Ruth Bellamy one uh, but yeah I'm probably gonna read that in post because I I am not if you guys haven't noticed I'm not the greatest reader in the planet nothing here Whoa, where are you running to? Not good enough to be better than everyone. I need to believe I'm better than everyone. Uh, you, whatever you say there, bro. <laughs> oh my god, is that her? There's nobody named... Oh wait, yeah, I spoke too soon. Who are you? Hello. Welcome to the Prophet of Profitability's private prosperity retreat. Stay positive and soon all your humors will be balanced. Least that's what I keep telling myself. Uh, anyway, I'm Aaliyah, Aaliyah Mason. I work as the Prophet's right hand woman. What can I do for you? Well, first of all, what can you tell me about this place? If you felt imbalanced and unproductive, linger in your malaise no longer. We have all the amenities and practices for calming the ill humors strangling your potential. Sit for hours in our sweat house and sweat them out. Or stand amidst burning coals and feel your productive inhibitions burn away. And remember, think positive. Positivity equals productivity equals profitability. Oh. Oh, sure. Do you know the Prophet well? Of course. I've been studying under her for years. I know each of her techniques more or less by heart, and even have some variations of my own, such as the quintuple daily stomach purges. 
She's promised me that I'd be allowed to open my own branch of the retreat someday soon. <laughs> of course, I've been waiting on someday soon for coming up on <laughs> four years now. I'm sure it's gonna happen anytime now. Something tells me no. Uh, for a positivity disciple, you sound less than enthused. Care to explain? Oh, terribly sorry if I gave you that impression. I had a cramp. It's better now. I mean, it might be nice if I had a little inclination of whether the Prophet appreciated all the cooking and cleaning and hours of meditation I do on a daily basis. But whatever she thinks isn't for me to question. I'll do my best to be more chipper. Interesting. But anyways, uh, let's start with this business conversation of ours. Or of mine, technically. I was hired into looking for uh, Halcyon Helen's murder. I um, need to ask you some questions. Oh my. Yes, this is important enough for me to delay my bi-hourly self-flagellation. Ask away. <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, the Prophet had some so, uh, some kind of feud with Halcyon Helen, right? Yes, the circumstances there are quite unfortunate. For a time, the Prophet was completely despondent. Even the hot coal walks weren't buoying her spirits as they usually do. However, we recently had a high-profile visitor whose presence seemed to alleviate whatever the Prophet's fears were. Spencer Woolrich? Oh, you must have misheard me. I said high profile, <laughs> not half profile. Mr. Woolrich comes by much too often to be worth mentioning. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. He literally, he's so self-centered and everything like that for being a past tense star that, that, you know, he's literally a nobody in the grand scheme of things. And I find it hilarious, man. Uh, have you noticed anything unusual? Well, going back to what she said, though, uh, with the feud, if it's what we read in that terminal, it's actually rather interesting, though, because the feud seemed to be a misunderstanding or, uh, between both of them. Ruth didn't want to come, but she didn't realize the repercussions that was going to ensue after that. So, in order to make amends, she decided to just come and take the class at least once. So, I think it was just a misunderstanding. But anyways, have you noticed any... If that's what she was talking about. Uh, have you noticed anything, uh, any unusual behavior in the retreat lately? Well, by and large, no. But <clears throat> something rather odd did happen regarding the Prophet recently. A few hours after our high-profile visitor arrived a couple of days ago, the Prophet asked me to take over sessions for the remainder of the day. At first, I was excited thought it was my chance to show her what I could do in charge. But then I saw that she was deeply worried about something. No one saw her until the next day. That's it. That is interesting. Uh, where were you at the time of the murder? I was here, at the retreat in the company of the other disciples and clients. I rarely have more than a few minutes of alone time. Which is fine, of course. I do what I do in the service of the Prophet. Who will, I'm sure, reward me for my sacrifice? Eventually? Maybe. Well, that's all. Thank you for your Certainly. time. Later. Actually, before you go, I want to report something suspicious. Uh -huh. I noticed the Prophet's dragging something, a bundle, away from the retreat after that high-profile guest arrived. Normally, I'm the one who does her laundry. So it was strange. Especially because whatever she was dragging seemed oddly... human-shaped. What? Uh... You sure it was a body? I think so. <laughs> Had the right size and shape. Okay, this is interesting for sure. Uh, couldn't you have brought this information forward a little earlier? I could have, but I generally don't have the time or energy to leave the reserve to contact anyone. Plus, there's always the possibility that I'm mistaken. The then why bring it up now? Herself lately. But if I misinterpreted the situation and reported her improperly, I'd ruin my chances for opening my own wing of the retreat. That's a... that's... 
very interesting. So I did want to talk to her, but I think it's probably better. But I don't look for the body. The the prophet uh, was witness drag uh what well, uh dragging what might have been a human body out of the retreat. Search the wilderness outside of the retreat for clues. So we know where she's at. So let's look at the region and see if it actually tells us where to go. So it's back in the caves. All right, we'll go out this way. Since that's what the marker is telling us to go, I'm just going to assume that this is going to tell us the fastest way to get there. Um, hold on, where's the... Uh, Discrepancy detected nearby. What is this? So, a semi-recent set of tracks in the dirt stands out from the dead leaves and... Identify. Never mind. Human footprints leading out into the wilderness. It is unusual for productivity disciples to wander more than a few feet from the camp. Are they Helens? Scanning. No. Helen's distinctive shoe size, not found. Judging by footprint depressions and shoe size, these prints were either made by the Prophet of Profitability or Adjutant Sophia Akande. Error. Recalibrating. These footprints were made by the Prophet of Profitability. Okay, yeah, that is definitely interesting. I am intrigued for sure. Alrighty. So where is this going to take us? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Additional tracks belonging to the profit of profitability. Is I'm sure these are more feet marks. It is. Additional tracks belonging to the profit of profitability. I wonder why. Judging by the shape of this indentation in the dirt. A person of medium it's a body. height and build laid here for a number of hours, scanning for other details. Only additional signs of disturbance are a few marks in the dirt. Could there have been a corpse here? Maybe in the uh, and the wildlife maybe ate it. Theorizing, potentially, but unlikely. Less than 0.01% human blood slash muscle tissue detected in area. Eridanos wildlife is not known to consume meals neatly. More likely that individual was only unconscious and left of their own accord. Okay, yeah, this is definitely strange. Uh, strange. Let's, let's keep that in mind. So the only thing we have left is to go? So there is no body. The indentations went away too. So if there's no body and someone was unconscious and then potentially walked away on their own accord. It kind of leaves me wondering what happened. Uh oh. Jackass is Let's go. Game on. Where are they? You. I've had quite enough of you! Bingo. Dunzo, buddy, you're dunzo. Was there another one? There wasn't. Alright, good. So that's that's a actually got them killed oh my god I feel terrible why is his name resident staying out of sight I feel I feel terrible but it's hilarious <laughs> oh my god dude that's funny who are you guys is that team tourist Tourist, tourist guide, slug. Got it. Nobody important. Plasma cutter titanium. Nope, nothing special here. So let's go talk to the prophet of profitability. Seems like that's the only 
thing I have to do now since I couldn't find the body. But let me, let me read what this says. Uh, look for the body. Uh, you discovered the prophet's tracks leading away from the retreat and the evidence suggests she was in fact dragging something heavy. You discovered the body dump site, but no body. Whoever was here seemed to have gotten up and walked away. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. But it was unconscious, it said. So maybe... Maybe it was like an, like an alcohol problem, potentially? Maybe they were drunk? And she didn't want that around, so she kicked them out? That dude is still running around. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Hold on, let's talk to her. Maybe we can update her. Welcome back. I <laughs> hope you have been keeping positive and productive. Something How like that. How may I help you balance your humors today? Uh, it doesn't look like I could give her an update. Okay. So now to talk to the Prophet of Profitability. After, of course, I take a peek around... The Dissident Queen Chapter 1, go ahead and feel free and pause this if you guys want to read this. I'm going to read that in post. Aw oh, man, I can't pickpocket her. To be fair, I'm not expected to sneak, so... Alright, Miss Prophet of Profitability. Fruitful and productive welcome, brother. I had a feeling you would visit me. I offer a wide variety of productivity seminars. I hope you'll consider taking one. Ah, but I should remember my manners. To what do I owe the pleasure of the special inspector's arrival? Uh, how did you know I was an inspector? My disciples come to and from the Grand Canonial, <clears throat> bringing supplies and information. Knowing what happens at the hotel affects my livelihood, after all. With that said, I'd love to involve you in one of my productivity seminars. We should clear you of all those nasty, nasty humors hampering your potential. Huh. Humors. I don't like it when people laugh at me. Worry not. With my <laughs> seminars, even someone of your immensely low intellect can succeed. How rude! As science has taught us, the body is made up of two things, flesh and humors. These humors are semi-fluids that, when improperly balanced, may cause you to function inadequately. By signing up for my seminars, you can balance these humors for only mildly inordinate and repeat payments. Cancellation is subject to repercussions. Huh. What kind of repercussions? Nothing you need concern yourself with, brother. It's all in the contracts. But of course, no one needs subject themselves to such repercussions if they don't cancel. Regardless, can I interest you in a seminar? Uh... I don't think so. I am curious though. You know, I have been feeling like my potential is hampered to, uh, lately. What do you offer? We offer a wide variety of seminars for all your corporate needs. Employees not working hard enough, employees dying too often. It's <laughs> most likely your managerial humors. And of course, seminars for balancing the energies of your business offices. Interior decorating is much more important for success than many would believe. If any of this sounds at all interesting to you, might I interest you in the first 82 words of our most popular seminars introduction? Free of charge. Sure, I'll hear it. Byzantines live lives fraught with competition. And that competition can be immensely stressful. You must, first of all, find a way to balance your thinking. Think not of bits lost, but of those you have yet to gain. After all, peace leads to productivity, and productivity leads to profit. Though thought alone won't balance you. We have a strict regimen to promote humor clearing. Session attendees stand on burning coals, sit for hours in our productivity smokehouse, and, of course, fast throughout. 
So in order to be productive, I need to suffer? Precisely. The barriers within yourself will break down as your skin sweats and blisters, giving the evil humors the proper space to escape. It's my patented method. Well, she's crazy. Uh, let me see. Someone said they saw you dragging a human-shaped lump uh, into your yurt. Who said that? I'll be sure to give them a special seminar on not needlessly implicating the person who puts food on their table. It was a bundle of clothing, brother. Even productivity geniuses She's lying. need to do laundry from time to time. She's lying. Uh, the dirt imprint I found outside suggests that a heavier load being dragged like a body. I'd say that I have a lot of clothing. But I think you already know that we prophets only have a moderate amount of worldly possessions. I had a visitor, yes. But as it turned out, some of my productivity techniques were too much for them. I had to drag them out by hand. But their peers came and collected them shortly thereafter. I'm sure whichever attendee it was is perfectly safe now. Huh. You said you had no further interaction with Helen before her death, right? Yes, that's correct. <clears throat> she made it clear that my seminars were of no interest to her. Yeah, I saw the message from Helen on your terminal about attending the session. Well, I suppose that does complicate things. Whatever the case, I didn't care to mention Helen's change in decision because she never showed up. I don't see how it matters. I want to know who that high-profile person who came to visit was. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I should have asked this first. I didn't see it. Uh, I followed your trail to where you dumped something in the wilderness. Oh, really? What did you find there? What did I dump? Uh, a dump. Uh... For a prophet, you certainly made some bad decisions. I think you should fess up. No, I think you're mistaken. There was nothing there, I suspect. And without evidence, I don't expect to be accosted further. I'm delighted to extend my desire to aid you, brother. How might I assist? Okay, so that didn't work out uh, the way I planned. So I'm going to ask you about Halcyon Helen's, uh, the whole Halcyon Helen situation. Please answer truthfully, okay? Oh? I'm surprised. I wouldn't think the two of us would have much to discuss about her. We may have had some terse interactions before her death, which I most certainly regret. But beyond those, well, never mind. What would you care to know? Did you contact her after you left the Grand Colonial? I did not. She had no interest in my seminars, and I had no interest in attempting to convert a stubborn actress. <laughs> Why would I have had any cause to engage with her further? Hmm. You sh uh, sure you didn't send any messages saying contrary? Your tone of voice seems to suggest that <coughs> you have me? information already. I do. Which also suggests you read my terminal. Smart. Whatever the case, I didn't care to mention Helen's change in decision because she never showed up. I don't see how it matters. Mm. Let me yes. see if I could ask her something else. I suppose we can talk about her some more. You and Helen didn't get along, did you? I wouldn't necessarily say that. The media tends to exaggerate. I will admit that her remarks about my seminars were rather unfortunate. However, I certainly wouldn't sharpen any sabers over it, if that's what you mean to imply. I only do that when my clients skimp on their bills. Hmm. Where were you at the time of her murder? Why, I've been at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve for quite some time now. As my disciples can attest. In fact, I haven't visited the Colonial since I arrived several weeks ago. 
Bad energies. You understand. I'm iffy about her. There is no evidence, like solid evidence of her physically hurting anyone. And her excuse on why she had to drag people out kind of makes sense. It's actually what I suspected. I thought it was going to be uh, like a, a drunk person, but her explanation is just as probable. So I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. Unless we find the person who was dragged out and have a conversation with this person, I don't think we're going to be able to get anywhere with this. So as of now, she's a suspect in my eyes, but nothing I could pin on her in terms of uh, murder with Halcyon Helen. I hope you now realize that I had nothing to do with Helen's demise. Let me see what... Let me see what this says. Uh, okay. So search the retreat for evidence that proves or disproves the pro uh, prophet's alibi. She claims she only met Hel Helen once during their altercation at the Grand Colonial, she says she hasn't left the Wilderness Exploration Reserve since she arrived there. You've learned that despite the Prophet's claim that she only met Helen once, Helen participated in the Prophet's retreat. The Prophet was witnessed leaving the retreat, dragged uh, what appeared to be a body. Okay, so timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Let's hear Analysis this. Analysis suggests this to be a variety of herbs. Herbs have been uniformly treated with a pungent chemical mix. Warning: ingesting, smoking, or inserting non-corporation sanctioned substances into your ears may be harmful to your health. How would these most likely be used? Prior analysis suggests these herbs reach peak effectiveness when users burn them and inhale the resulting smoke. Whether or not this increased effectiveness is good for an afflicted individual has yet to be determined. So similar to like how Native Americans and stuff like that uh, seems. Let's taste it. Uh, though the dry herbs are difficult to chew, the flavor is less bitter than you would have expected. It's woodsy, like a uh, trip kale. Uh, with, never mind. It's actually slightly better than tasting your own average can of Saltuna, though so are most boots. That's disgusting. I wish it wouldn't just skip on its own. Hypothesizing potential side effects from herb consumption. Most likely outcome, decapitation. <laughs> Slight possibility of calculation error. Slight, you say? Okay. Uh, whatever you say there, bro. Uh, can you analyze the, chemi the chemical in these herbs uh, that are treated with? Analyzing complete. Substance appears to be a mix of industrial solvents and various essential oils. Substances include woolly cow dander remover, sprat oil, and starship surface wax. I'll make a note of that. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright, let's do a little bit more reading. You've uncovered enough inconsistencies with the Prophet's alibi that it's apparent she's hiding something. Time to confront her. I feel like we could find something more solid, though. Let's just take a quick gander everywhere. That leads outside. So nothing seems... I wish I could go in here, but I can't. Okay, it doesn't really seem like there's anything, so let's just go ahead and confront her. That was just a quick look around. Alright, Miss Prophet of Profitability. Welcome back, brother. I'm delighted to extend my desire to aid you, brother. How might I assist? So what are you hiding? I've got some interesting herbs in here. Or you've got some interesting herbs in here. I'm pleased that you noticed. Excellent eye, brother. The compound they're treated with is my own invention, designed to unlock an individual's true productive potential when burned. I can't say any more. Trade secrets, you know. 
They seem toxic. Toxic enough to uh, toxic enough to potentially kill someone. Clever work, Inspector. It seems even I can't slide my way out of the trap you've so intricately weaved. I admit it. I killed Helen. By mistake. Helen changed her mind and wanted to attend one of my sessions. I, knowing the importance of the seminar, desired to truly galvanize her. Though not to stop her heart. So when it came time, I chose to double Helen's dosage of productivity-enhancing herbs. I left her to meditate, and when I returned, she was dead. After that, I entered a less than coherent state. One of my disciples, it seems, witnessed me as I dragged Helen's body out into the wilderness. Did you shoot the body at any time? Laws, no. I hate guns. If I ever wanted to kill someone on purpose, I would have used a blunt weapon. Nothing quite like clubbing someone over the head. Very strange choice of words right there. Uh, the wilderness. You didn't dump the body at the Grand Colonial? Do you jest? The guests at the Colonial eat no shortage of strange things, but I think corpses are perhaps too strange. The creatures of the wilderness are much less picky. Besides, the hotel is ridiculously far. I couldn't have made it all that way without someone realizing I was dragging a corpse. I, 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 I think I'm gonna... I don't believe her. Let's go with this real quick. We'll see if we can get some more information. It seems like she's hiding something, but not a murder. You sure Helen was dead? I'm no medical professional, but that certainly seemed the case. Usually my customers at least writhe or mumble after a session. My productivity enhancing herbs typically do induce sluggishness, but I suppose they must have been enough to do her in if her constitution was truly that weak. I'm not sure about this, dude. I don't have enough information to go with either one of these. But something, my gut is telling me that she didn't kill anyone. But I have no way to back that up whatsoever. But I don't have any options. I don't have enough information. I hate this. But I don't think she killed anyone. And if she did, it definitely wasn't, Hel uh, it wasn't Helen. What? Is this some kind of joke? You're an inspector. It's your job to arrest me, isn't it? H Halcyon Helen's body was found at the Grand Colonial. She was killed there. Yeah, I think this is the closest thing I could say. Uh, Look, if Helen's body wasn't where you left it, she must have awakened and walked away. No. Someone must have moved it after I killed her. One of my business rivals, waiting for me to fall into a false sense of security so they can strike. Halcyon Helen's body was found at the Ground Colonial. She was actually killed there. I don't believe you. I think this is all a trick. You're trying to... to catch me in a lie. Get me to reveal my productivity secrets. What? Why? The only thing you've done is be completely negligent. No. You can't trick me. I finally discovered what's happening. You've been paid off. Someone else learned that I killed Helen and is going to use that information to blackmail me. You think I'm going to let this injustice happen? Ha! Tell the constable that I killed Helen. It's a thousand times less miserable than whatever my enemies have planned. She's absolutely insane, first of all. Second of all, the constable's dead. Huh, let me see. I don't know what I want to say. I think I'm going to go with...
You're up the wall, but I'm not... Uh, see, this one right here, realistically, is probably in her best interest. Only because putting her in a confined location will probably keep her safe. Since we know, like, the like the mascot guy or whatever, he was killed. The constable was killed. All these people that were involved with Helen were killed. So this is probably for her safety, but I don't want to say that because it takes away for her freedom. So I wish there was a way I could tell her to be safe, but realistically with all the people around, I think she is kind of safe. So, uh, you're up the wall. I'm not going, I'm not getting the deputy or anyone else to falsely imprison you. You monster. What am I supposed to do now? They'll be here soon. And once they arrive, I'll be powerless. Powerless. I just want to go to prison. Is that so wrong? She wants safety. She wants safety. Oh my god, that last... She knows who the killer is. Or a bare minimum. Who's behind it? She didn't kill anyone. She's just trying to go to jail to be safe. Oh my god, that is a revelation for sure. So the only thing I have left is two things that I have to report to Ludovico. And ultimately speaking, I think it's Lud Ludovico. I firmly believe Ludovico is the one that killed. See, name the murderer. Report to Ludovico for this one, the man who chafed. Because Woolrich also is another situation at the product of productivity. They're both guilty of something, but not murder like Woolridge was poisoned he poisoned her and the profit profitability I mean it, I guess in a way got her intoxicated in a different way of course yeah I don't think either one of them I think it was Ludovico I firmly firmly believe and again I don't have the absolute facts to to back that up I have a lot of circumstantial evidence, but I like to think like this. If there's a lot of things pointing in your direction, then maybe, or in their direction, then maybe it's them. What floor would you like to visit? My room, please. Next stop, the finest seat in the house. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to... Okay, let's Inspector? let's do let's do this. Uh So, I've completed my investigation into Helen's poisoning. Excellent. I trust you have a name for our poisoner. Yeah, it was Woolridge. Oh, I am disappointed. I'd always believed Mr. Woolridge a man of high character. It pains me to order the arrest and detention of someone I admired. I'd like you to continue investigating Helen's murder. You've found the poisoner, but her killer remains at large. Yeah, I don't care that he got arrested. He should pay for that crime. He did, after all, poison her. That's 100% fine with me. So I finished my investigation into Jasmine Leva, the prophet of profitability. Ms. Leva earned that title, but not for the reasons you'd expect. The profit business has been profitable for the hotel. Not so much for Ms. Leva's followers. So tell me, what did you find? She really wants to be arrested. She wants to be arrested? That's not the kind of behavior I expect from a suspect. Perhaps I agree. Carrying a guilty conscience. Does the Prophet strike you as a reasonable candidate for Helen's murderer? Uh, to be honest, no. Yeah, this is probably... Let me see. A reasonable candidate? She either did it or she didn't. That's actually facts. 100% right there. Uh, but considering the context... Uh, yeah, this. Right here. 100%. Maybe she needs to be detained until I'm done with my investigation. Although I don't like the framing of the word detained. Uh, she should be able to leave on her own accord. But I think she needs some protection until the investigation is complete. Because I do believe she may be in danger. 
I, I'm going with this. Maybe she needs to be detained until I'm done with my investigation. Arresting the prophet could spell the end of her. But that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Thank you for the update, Inspector. I'll include everything you've told me in my official report. Okay, well, I know who killed uh, Halcyon Helen. I've been waiting for this. Tell me, Inspector, who killed <laughs> Halcyon Helen? God, I really hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> oh my god. I really think it's Ludovico, but this is going to get me so in trouble. But I love it. It was me. I did it. I killed Halcyon Helen. I should have stayed back on the ship with Ada. <laughs> you know, boss, there are days I wonder how you made it this far without accidentally shooting yourself. Bold strategy, Captain. Let's see if it works out. It's astounding you haven't been the death of me, Captain. Sam says, let your auto mechanical do the dirty work while you keep your hands clean. Captain, oh I humbly stand in awe of your ability to surprise. This is impressive <laughs> even for you. And by impressive, I mean astonishingly ludicrous. I don't understand. What do you mean it was you? I'm literally crying. <laughs> oh my god, I was so stupid. Uh, oh my god. Uh, shrug. I don't know. Ever since I got... <laughs> I don't know. Ever since I got this concussion, my memory's been a little fuzzy. <laughs> Please, merciful law, give me the strength to get through this ordeal. All right, oh. I'm going to humor you because you're, law help us all, the inspector. What possible motive could you have to kill Halcyon Helen? <laughs> oh, is boredom a motive? No, boredom is not a motive. You barely knew Halcyon Helen. She wasn't threatening your career or snooping around in your secrets. You see, those are serious, real motives. That... That actually just told me a lot about him. That doesn't make any sense. I don't have secrets, so why would I kill her? Exactly. Helen wasn't a threat to you. You weren't even here on the night of the murder. How could you possibly have killed her in the ballroom? <laughs> this is this is so good. Oh my god. <laughs> Shrug. <laughs> Shrug, blow to the head, couple of shots with the plasma rifle? No, don't you have any sense of subtlety? You have to deflect attention away from you. <laughs> You rewrite a mechanical's programming. Every mechanical in this damned colony is armed. Even Burbage has a built-in plasma weapon. Wait, don't move a muscle. Oh my god. Someone's just tripped my alarm. <coughs> and my security defenses. And killed my patrols. The distillery is under attack. Someone's after me, Inspector. I need you over here right now. Uh... <laughs> Uh All right, I'll be over there. Now, Inspector. Shut up, Ludovico. Someone's interfering with my transmission. Can you read the There's no answer. Whoever oh. the real killer is. Damn it. I got a feeling they're going after Mr. Ludovico. We need to catch up to him fast. I have no I idea what I clicked. We have to. Getting kind of tired of kicking my heels up in the penthouse all day. Hmm. All right. I got nothing going on. We should definitely go. As for helping him, maybe we take the wait-and-see approach? From the depths of Terra 2 to the heights of Eridanos, there's no mess that your SAM unit can't unstick, unplug, or unsully. Think of this as an opportunity to teach Mr. Ludovico the importance of compassion. Okay. I firmly believe it's Ludovico, but I just <laughs> got myself in trouble a little bit. What floor would you like to visit? Uh... Wait, where is he? The Naked Hunch? I guess I'll probably go to the map, huh? Okay, so it's in a... It's in a brand new area. We could probably... We could probably just go to the front door? 
I kind of want to take someone else. Let me see. Let's take Parvati and Ellie. I'm pretty sure they're weaker than what I had already, but it's okay. I'm still pretty sure it's Ludovico, man. Everything points to him, in my opinion. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on my hunch for this one, man. I'm pretty sure it's him. This should definitely be interesting, though. Wait, have I been here? Uh, we haven't gotten a yellow. Okay. All right, good. I didn't get caught. I don't even know why I'm picking those up, to be honest, but. I am. Rizzo's Spectrum. Oh, we haven't even been here before. That's awesome. <laughs> this is definitely the end of the DLC, man. You can just tell. This should definitely be interesting. Hold up. What's in here? Nothing. A maglock, sure, I'll take that, I guess. Oh man, there's nothing in here. This place is surprisingly big. Hammer time. Here we go. At least it's plasma. Leave them alone. <laughs> you are gonna be all right, Ellie. To make you smile. Platinum? Eh, I'll be all right. This place okay. is already making my eyes hurt. Same. I really want to check this out real quick. Oh, that just leads to the other platform that we were at before. Oh, that's interesting. But let's check this platform out anyways. Oh god. Hammer time! Oh dude. She has a... A, a light machine gun. Uh, this is a good DLC, man. This is a good game, in general. Not the best in the world. It does have its problems. But overall, this game is definitely really good. Exciting. I'm excited to see how it ends. Wait, this isn't the way. It's telling me to go the other way. Me. Hello. Here goes Go get him, Ellie. Got him. Get away. Um, I'm really, really slow right now. He's literally throwing snowballs. Who? Who's attacking? Okay, I got this. I really need to sell everything that I have. Don't want that. Purple berry punch, sure, why not? So we're supposed to go down the other way over there, but I kind of want to explore up here. You never know what we'll find, and it honestly looks like it's nothing. And frankly speaking, I'm not really surprised. Okay, let's do this. We're definitely gonna find some... something... something here. Let's take a look around before we click on that button. What is that? I don't know. Alright. Oh my god! 
I had a feeling she was still alive. The evidence spoke that she was still alive. I had a feeling you'd catch up to me sooner or later. I was hoping you'd find me standing over the administrator's corpse. What in law's name? How's John Helen? How are you still alive? Oh, is that Ludovico I hear? Perfect. I'm so glad he's still in the building. Would you mind letting him know I'm about to blow his whole operation to flinders? Why? <laughs> oh, sweet law, Halcyon Helen rose from the dead. Really, Quentin? This is the inspector you hired? <laughs> no. Actually, it makes sense. If I was trying to frame someone for murder, I'd hire a gormless dolt and make them inspector too. Wow. Wow, okay, yeah, what she just said spoke volumes. Okay. Uh, hold on. If you're not a ghost, then what are you? <laughs> Brace yourself, Inspector. You're about to learn the biggest secret in the Aperwave industry. Halcyon Helen was never one person. I shared this role with my daughter. Oh my sister. god, his her sister died. Oh that must have been her sister in the ballroom. I can't imagine what she's going through right now. A twin? The only thing worse than being an only child has got to be having a perfect sibling. Can you imagine the parents? Linda and I were the best kept secret in the business. Nobody could tell us apart. And certainly not a peevish, petty, miserable little worm like Quentin Ludovico. So when I discovered the truth, when I realized what Ludovico was about to unleash on this colony, Belinda. The price. Let me guess. The uh, parasites. <laughs> Faint shock. Ah! Administered, uh, Administrator Ludovico? A murder? And a coward? Why, I never. Call me a murderer all you like, Inspector. But I'm no <laughs> coward. I bloodied my hands to save this colony. He just admitted it, again, it. If it means defending Halcyon's future, I'd do it in a heartbeat. Tell the truth, Ludovico. There's nothing safe about Spectrum Brown. You want to infest this entire colony with those yep, disgusting I knew it. parasites. They're not... It all makes sense. These creatures are symbiotic life forms. They belong to the highest order of life form, capable of living in perfect harmony with humanity. The symbiotes evoke a feeling of joy in their host. A bliss so pure, so profound, as to render the most exquisite is it recreational substance obsolete? Oh, don't you see, Inspector? I want to bring joy back to Halcyon. I want this colony to smile again. They're not symbiotes. I've seen what, uh... I've seen the way the infected behave. <clears throat> a host only turns violent if they're carrying too many symbiotes, or if they see you as a threat in its natural state. The relationship between symbiote and host is perfectly harmless. Listen to me. I never wanted to take a life, but I had no choice. I couldn't let anyone destroy this colony's only chance at real happiness. But what about Helen? What about all the innocent people she's killed? No one I crossed off was innocent. She killed... So she was the one that killed everyone? What are you talking about? Who did you kill? Ludovico murdered my sister, Inspector. He killed Belinda with his own hands. Dr. Leora Blossom, Maria Keen, that flack wit of a mascot. They yep. were standing between me and Ludovico, so I did what I had to do. I went through them. Let's start in order of how we discovered them. I just don't remember who we found first. The constable or the mascot? So why did why did the mascot uh, what did the mascot ever do to you? The mascot was a spy working for Ludovico. He was ordered to keep an eye on Belinda and I and report back to his master. You're being paranoid. I barely knew the fellow. Don't try to deny it. Anywhere Belinda and I went, that mascot was there, just watching us with those cold dead eyes. 
That kind of makes sense. But it, but we know that he was working for uh, whatever his name is, uh, Black uh, Birdie. I'm pretty sure he was uh, he wasn't working for the administrator, unless Birdie was. But I don't believe he was either. Let's go with this. I found him rampaging through your things. That doesn't surprise me at all. He was on Ludovico's side, just like the others. Hmm. Okay, well that locked me out of the other choice. So that sucks. What about uh Constable Keen? Was that you too? She was on Ludovico's side. When she realized I was alive, she refused to stay silent. I gave Maria a chance. I told her about Belinda. I asked for her help, but she turned me down. She was honor bound to report me to Ludovico. Maria had a duty to her company, <clears throat> and I had a duty to Belinda. We both did what we had to, but in the end, I was the faster shot. Damn. So what about Dr. Blossom? Was that you in the research lab? Have you met Dr. Blossom? She was practically a reptile. A cold-blooded psychopath who toyed yeah, that's with true. human lives in the name of scientific advancement. Leora Blossom wasn't a person. She was a weapon in Ludovico's arsenal. You call it murder? I call it disarming my enemy. So... What she did in all three of those instances are not the right way to go about things. But Ludovico's trying to give parasites to the entire colony. So in this situation, I would definitely have to pick the lesser of two evils. You know what you need to do. Help me avenge Belinda. Help me put a stop to this. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. Throw in with Helen and you destroy Halcyon's only chance at real happiness. Think of the future, Inspector. A lifetime of bliss and joy for every colonist in Halcyon. We can make that happen. I got more uh, uh, more questions. You want me to explain <clears throat> my grand plan in the middle of a climactic moment like some two-bit serial villain? Do I look like Spencer Woolrich to you? <laughs> We've talked enough. You're either with me, or you're with the administrator. So, in my main playthrough, I'm going to side with Halcyon Helen. But my curiosity is getting the best of me. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. <laughs> really? You're going to choose that coward over me? <laughs> I misjudged you, Inspector. <laughs> I won't make that mistake twice. Sorry. I've found out where Helen's storing her explosives. You need to find the detonator and defuse it. I'll guide you there. Follow the unsealed doors. Okay. Unsealed doors. There's explosives. She's gonna blow this place up. Curiosity again. Nothing. Let's get out of here. I want to kill her though. I think it'll be funny. Let's uh, avoid the hot fumes. Okay, so what are, what are we doing? What is this? This fuel canister is hazardous and may easily detonate with the assistance of an explosive. No explosives detected. Okay. So there's something else. This device seems to have several explosives packed inside, along with a remote detonator. Multiple yeah, found the bomb. explosives detected. Uh Let me see, I have two dumb choices, so found them. Nice work, Amplifier. Our job here is done. I Okay, or dumb in engineering, crack your knuckles, just gonna reach in and yank some- Oh, yep, definitely going with this. 
Please be informed that the discrepancy amplifier is not under warranty. <laughs> so dumb and one-handed. Punch the bomb uh, until the beeping stops. <laughs> Close your eyes, pull the wire at random. 70 engineering and dumb. Reach in and yank some wires out. <laughs> Against all reason and logic, you roll your sleeves up and beat the timer into submission. The detonator gives a pitiful electronic whine followed by silence. Nice. Explosive successfully disarmed. Now loading applause <laughs> protocol. Amazing. Bravo. Thank Our you, thank hero. you. <laughs> you deserve a promotion. Appreciate it. Well done, Inspector. You saved my facility and my life's work. You have my gratitude. And before long, the gratitude of the entire colony. Unfortunately, Halcyon Helen is still at large. We're going to have to do something about her. Uh, do you have a plan? Helen's attack made me realize I'm too vulnerable. I've concentrated all my resources in one area. Naturally, that's where she attacked me. We're going to have to bond our symbiotes with everyone in Eridanos. Every person in this complex will become a home for these creatures. Helen will have nowhere to strike. Um... I doubt Helen's going to wait around uh, to let us infect the whole complex. I'd always intended to use the atmospheric control system to disperse the symbiotes. <laughs> The plan is untested, but theoretically sound. Head back to the hotel. Contact me via terminal. We'll discuss our next move. Talk to you soon. Yes, Inspector. You will. Oh, this is getting... big. Is there an easy way out of here? I don't think so. So Halcyon Helen escaped. So what's this mission called? Internal Exploding Machine of Halcyon Helen. Speak to Ludovico. The bomb has been diffused and the distillation station has been saved. Contact Administrator Ludovico from your penthouse. Okay. Oh, this is getting huge. I wonder... I wonder how much left we have. This is definitely feels like the last mission, doesn't it? Alright, let's go ahead and go, though. 